Hey, what's up, everyone? Hey. Ghoul Brothers here. Today, we got a brother battle going down. Yep. And it's a brother battle like no other that we've done before. We're grilling. We're grilling. grilling it is the quail cook-off brother battle. Aaron's got his grill. I got mine. We're also smoking from our mouths because it's cold here in Minnesota. It's freezing out right now. We each have our own quail recipes that we're going to be cooking today. So we're going to find out who's the better cook of quail, Aaron or me. These are quail that I shot last year in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico while hunting with my Klein Munsterlander. Let's get it going. Have we ever cooked quail before? Nope. Nope. But we thought, why not just cook it, put it on a video, and let the whole world see? We're gonna have some impartial judges that are obviously gonna pick my dish because it's gonna be way better because you saw how I put it together. If you didn't, let me show you right now. Okay, for the marinade, starting with avocado oil, we got parsley and rosemary. Boom. Chipotle chili powder, salt, pepper, and sage into the mix. Garlic, lemon zest in there. One last thing, diced serrano peppers. In they go. Smells really good. And all I gotta do is let these marinate so I can kick Aaron's butt tomorrow. It's the day of the cook-off. I'm getting my glaze ready to go. Here's what's going into it. To start off, we have water, Anaheim peppers. Bring the peppers to a boil. So the peppers in the one cup of water go into the food processor. Is this a food processor? That's a blender. Into the blender. I know my way around the kitchen. Honey goes in, half cup of honey. Then we top it off with a pinch of salt. We're getting the pepper skins out of the glaze, straining it out. All right, Camp Chef is warming up. We're getting her hot, going to 225 degrees. I got my marinated quail here. Already got my vegetables on, seasoned vegetables, which are gonna be delicious. The plan is to cook them at 225 degrees for about an hour. And then I think I'm gonna try to crank up the grill, get it hot. Might use the sear box on the side here to sear them, get a nice crisp on the outside, but we'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to this, this should be good. All right, Aaron, what do we got going on? We have a little lemon rosemary quail right here. I've never tried this recipe. I've never cooked quail. Sounded good, so let's see how it tastes. Did you find this recipe online somewhere? Did you make it up? I searched the interwebs for grilled quail recipes, and this one sounded fantastic. I'm pretty new to the smoking grill setups. This is only like the fourth time I've used this grill, but it's so easy to use that I think it's gonna be great. What are you cooking at? Looks like you're at about 300 degrees. You're dripping stuff all over my patio. You'll clean that up later, that's all right. That's why we had it at your place. So what's the idea in here? Hot and, hot and fast or what, what's the deal? Uh, yep, uh, 350 for six to eight minutes aside, internal temperature of 170. You went to 165, I believe you said on yours. I'm gonna go a little hotter. I might have to sear it. We'll see how it starts panning out there towards the end. Otherwise, I'll use my sear box to get it crisp. We'll see how it goes. All right, my quail is at 154 degrees. I'm trying to bring it to an internal temp of 165. But the way I'm gonna finish it out is by putting it on my sear box. This is hot, medium hot. I'm just gonna put the quail on, and try to get a little crisp in the outside, get a little sear. After, as soon as I get these on, I really do not want to overdo them because if you cook quail too long, it will dry out. It's what I've read on the internet. Remember, this is the first time I've ever cooked. I have eaten quail before. We're just going to glaze these quail with this Anaheim pepper and honey glaze. Make sure they're good and coated. And once we get the glaze on, I'm going to flip them. The wife says go hot and heavy. That's what she normally says. Not the first time she's told me that. See? Smells delicious. A little char on the outside without overcooking it. Looks like we're having one quail of a time. Got a little char to them. We're gonna get them off. Son of a! One down! Nobody saw that. That one's for Bob. That one's for Bob. All right. Here we are. Well, yeah, you're going to, you're at 164, 164 right now. 164, so we're gonna take them over here and give them a little sear. 
here box. Give them a little bit more crispiness on the outside. Ooh, that's looking good. I don't know, Steve. I tasted a piece of yours. Yours was fantastic. I'm interested to see what this is going to taste like. The only regret I have is not having more of them to make. Exactly. They are looking fantastic. Lemon rosemary. As you can see here, Aaron has the blue plate. Mine was the red plate. So after they've tried both, they're going to raise a plate and say which one they like best. These are our official taste testers. We got the brother-in-law, the outlaw, Bob Wershing and his beautiful wife, our sister, Emra, dad, mom, Hello. cousin Rachel, and the guy that knows how to have one quail of a time, Mr. <laughs> Josh Anderson. Grab yourself some green chili honey Ooh. quail. Green chili honey quail. These baby chickens are delicious. Mm. 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 Yeah, it sure does. Mm. Mm. I like that. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Hannah, are you going to have some? Good flavor. I don't know how you do it. I mean, I watch you guys shoot, and usually the pigeons just powder, but these things, they melt in my mouth. Excellent job. Uh, the honey glaze is phenomenal. These are nice and tender, juicy, little desert pigeons. Very good. Mm. So what I'm liking about these is the crispy outside. I like the texture. I'm appreciating the crispy outside. And the inside is very soft and tender. And the flavor is impeccable. Crispy and tender at the same time. And a little kick to it, and which goes good with the vegetables, by the way. The zucchini and the summer squash, very good. I like a lot of real strong taste, so this is just Excellent. Nice mixture of sweet and a nice mixture of heat, which makes it uh, delicious in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Oh yeah. I've eaten zucchini every day for the last two years. <laughs> I'm tired of this diet. <laughs> Get that off your face. I don't know if it's uh, quail. I've never had quail before, but this is the best bird I've ever tasted. Yeah, I could eat more of this. This is very good. Here's the blue plate meal. Taste testing crew, you ready to go? You got it. This reminds me of my prom date. Uh, she was a lemon, and her name was Rosemary. <laughs> All right, dish up, folks. Lemon, lemon, lemon oh, rosemary. Boy. Ooh, this one juicy even popped out as I poked my fork into it. Mmm, mm, good. This is singing in my mouth. My mouth is going wild right now. That lemon is popping all those flavors and those taste buds. Juicy, juicy. What I like here is just how tender it is on the inside. It's satisfying. It's hard to compare them, but this one seems a little bit drier, but the lemon really, really makes it, uh, I don't know, juicy? I'm gonna tell you something. So the baby approves of the lemon baby chickens. <laughs> Tastes so good, make you want to slap your mama. <laughs> <laughs> the breast on this really is juicy and full. This one didn't look as appealing at first, but the lemon really brought out the flavor of the quail, and um, it was all tender. I liked it. Well, it was really good. I, I love lemon. Had you ever had quail before? No. What did you think, first reaction? Oh, I think this was delightful. I think you this is like a meal you go to a fancy restaurant to have. No, I haven't, so it was quite a different experience. Never had quail before. I expected it to be dry and gamey, and it was neither of those things. It was excellent. This is a first for quail. Haven't loved pheasant, so I thought it would taste kind of like that really tough, but this surprised me. It was tender. Delicious, I would eat it again. Uh, no, but I have had my share of pigeon. <laughs> Doves or pigeons? Pigeons. We eat pigeons on a regular basis growing up. My dad, uh, especially if my mom was working, would go outside, you would hear a bang, and you knew supper was about to be served. That's country right there. That's, yeah. that's... Coon and pigeon. 
I have never had quail before, and unlike my esteemed colleague, I do like pheasant, and this quail, I think, is uh, juicier than pheasant. Mm. So. Okay, so everyone's had a chance to taste Aaron and mine. They don't know whose is whose, so you guys know. Aaron's blue, I'm red. They're gonna vote. Ah, the green chili is the winner for me. This is a tough decision because I like both of them for different reasons, but uh, I might have to go with the blue one for taste. All right, like them both. Here we go. Uh, for the girl who doesn't eat sugar ever, I really appreciated the honey, so I'm gonna go with this one. This one, mm. I would eat any day. Love it. Going for sugar. All right, two for red, one to blue. Yep. Red all day. Red wave. All right, Republican so red it. wave all day. <laughs> that uh, that honey yard bird was a ten. Josh's outfit was a one. <laughs> Three to one with the red. Comes down to the last two, the love birds, right here. I'm gonna have to say, okay, the lemon popped. I liked the the chili. Uh, of the honey glaze, I'm gonna go with the lemon. We can't have a tie. What? We can't have a tie. Okay, so I really liked the green chili honey texture and the flavor was delicious, but the lemon rosemary quail had delicious texture and that lemon rosemary mixture just kind of won it out for me. Lemon rosemary quail is my vote. Uh-oh. Is it that's gonna come a, to fist now? That's the, well, let's um, not fist, cause I'll lose that one. We need a tiebreaker. <laughs> Luckily, we have a tiebreaker. Which one do you like? We, we, we have the, the hidden tiebreaker over here. Whoa. Uncle Dwayne. Oh, the, the honey. The honey oh, tiebreaker yeah. goes with the honey. <laughs> Woo! All right, so there you have it. I came down with this battle's winner, our first ever cook-off. Should we do more cook-offs? What do you think? And if we should, what should we cook? We love our Camp Chef grills. We've been making some delicious food, and it just turns out mine's a little better than Aaron. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So pull that trigger and shoot for your dreams. See ya! Cooking up some quail. Smoking some quail? You're smoking quail. Uh, quail. 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 I don't know what that is. Is that like krill and quail? Trail? Mixed together. It'd be a good okay. Dish. We each have our own krill. <laughs> krill. Quail recipes. Today we got the most intense hot brother battle. That was dumb.